Hi guys, welcome to my channel and to my Back to Beauty Novi year. This year I am concentrating on using my makeup and not buying any. Today's video I'm using my makeup to create this natural face with a bold lip. This video was absolutely 100% inspired by Zabrina and her video that is very similar to this one, which I will have linked down below. While watching Zabrina create her look, I was absolutely reminded that this is a look that I love having in my back pocket in case the occasion should arise where I need to glam up a little bit without going full glam. This is a look that would be great if you want to get out the door quickly, but you want to look a little bit more put together than your average natural makeup look. The difference between my video and Sabrina's video is that she did no eyeshadow and I did minimal eyeshadow. So if you want to see how I got this look right here, then just keep watching. All right, let's get started. I did already prime my face with the Becca First Light Filter Primer shenanigans. Um, I really love this. It does give a nice luminosity to my skin without being shimmery or radiant. And then for foundation, I'm going to use the Healthy Foundation from Physicians Formula. My shade is LM4 for reference. And again, I really just love how this foundation looks on my skin. I can get away with very little of this and just sort of even out the skin tone. I'm just looking for natural skin looking products. Whatever works for you is totally fine. If you want a more full coverage look, that's fine as well. For me today, I'm looking for just a very natural makeup look to be sort of the canvas and the support cast for a bold lip color. Another great option for this type of a natural skin look would be a BB cream. For me, I love the NYX BB cream, um, but any BB cream with a sheer coverage would do for concealer. I'm using a Holy Grail. This is the NYX HD Photogenic Studio Concealer. This is in the shade CW3. My actual skin tone, I use the CW4, but this is a little bit, or a lot of bit, of a brightening shade. It has a very pinky peachy undertone. I just find it to be really flattering on my skin, as well as color correcting because of the peach tone, and therefore I find that it lends to this sort of natural look. So I like to pat it out first with my finger best I can and I have creasing always. Love to hear your suggestions below. I have just this one big crease that no matter how much I pat or what have you, it's there. And then once I apply it with my finger, I go ahead and, you know, just go over it with the sponge making sure everything is even blended. And then I take the other side of my sponge that I used for the foundation and just kind of blend out the edges. All right, so this is the base done. I'm gonna go ahead and pop off of here and do my brows while I let the foundation set a little bit. I find that it helps to let the foundation sort of hang out on the skin for a little bit and dry down completely so then I can determine the places on my face where I need to set with powder, if any, and go on my merry way. For brows today, I'm going to just be using my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown. Um, I won't be using a brow mascara today. I really wish I had a clear brow gel, something I wish I would have purchased before my no buy year because I do like a more natural brow, but I also like to set my brows and have them stay in place. So BRB, I'm gonna do my brows and I'll be right back. Brows are on, definitely sisters or more like 
kissing cousins today <laughs> to set my face I'm just going to lightly dust with the Laura Mercier loose translucent setting powder any powder will do whatever is in your collection already I love this powder specifically for natural looks like this because I do think it keeps that natural look to my skin. As you see me dusting it over my forehead, you can see that the luminosity of my skin is still there. So next is bronzer, and here's where I'm going with this. I'm gonna go a little lighter on the bronzing than what I would normally do. I would normally build it up and really kind of contour my face with it. Today, I'm just going to sort of add a little bit of bronzer in the areas obviously where the sun would naturally hit my face. I'm gonna be using the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Capri Coast. This is a good option for me because this bronzer is a little light on me actually. It's one that I normally have to build up and so that's why I chose this one. But whatever bronzer you have of course is going to work. Just go in light-handed with it because we're going for a very natural look. And I'm also using a very fluffy, floppy <laughs> brush. I think this, yeah, this is actually called a slanted blusher brush, but I've actually been loving it for bronzer lately. Hopefully you can see that I didn't go crazy. I just did a little warming up of the skin. So for blush, what I'm working with today is the Tarte 12 Hour Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Parte. Just about all of us own this blush. But the reason I chose this blush is because it is a very natural flush on my skin. So when I'm doing a more natural blush like this, not a draping, <laughs> like last week, I just like to pull the blush back uh, along the cheekbone area. And then of course, work it into the temple and the hairline so it looks more a part of my face versus like I have blush on. <laughs> Next, we're gonna go into highlighter and this is where you can make or break a natural look. You wanna look for the most natural possible highlight in your collection. And for me, that is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder. This is in the shade Highlight 01. So it's just a little mini, looks like so. I'm gonna hopefully be able to swatch this so you can see what I'm saying, but it just blends into the skin beautifully. And just see there's just a luminosity there not like a definite glow or anything and then the other thing that will lend to this sort of soft radiance on the face is I'm going to use a fluffy brush to apply it in all the normal places but I'm gonna really buff it into the skin another great option would be the essence pure nude highlighter I also have that one um, I just love this one and hopefully you can see how that just it's not like highlighter it's like just a glow and then because we are going natural I'm going to go ahead and go back in with my blush brush and just make sure that we are completely blended so let's talk eyeshadow shall we now when Zabrina did this on her channel she did pretty much no eyeshadow and it looked beautiful on her but that's just not my jam. So we are going to do eyeshadow but we're going to do very minimal and natural <laughs> eyeshadow. So I'm going to start by prepping my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the Anti-Aging Formula. This kitten is groaning back there or moaning. She must be having kitten dreams. So to start, I'm going to be using a cream shadow stick. This is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Rose Gold. Looks like this. And I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. And then tap it out just to make sure, you know, there's no texture and that it is all even Steven. Apply a second layer if you feel like you need to. 
if you didn't have or didn't want to use a cream shadow, you can do the same thing with any kind of shimmer shadow. So for the crease, we are going to use this little tiny taupe eyeshadow from Elizabeth Mott. The first thing I'm going to do is use my finger to pat this on the outer V of the eye and then I will be blending it up into the crease a little bit. So I'm just going to use my phalange for this taupe shadow and I am panning this shadow so there's that. <laughs> But if you wanted to do this look with more warm tone shadows, you absolutely could. You're just looking for a mid-tone shadow that is going to complement that bold lip. So now I'm going to take that same fluffy brush that I used for the translucent powder to set my primer and I'm going to start buffing this out in the crease and I want to keep it as low as possible in that crease to start and I don't want to bring it all the way in to the inner corner because that's just not going to lend to the natural look that we're looking for. Now that I've got it in the crease, I'm going to wipe off my fluffy brush and work this, or diffuse this a little bit up into the transition area. So there you go. Hopefully you can see that this just caused a little bit of definition to the eye without overwhelming the face. Now, I like a little brow bone highlight as well as a little inner corner highlight. And for today, I'm going to be using my little Hourglass Vanish Stick Highlighter in the shade Champagne. No, Champagne. Now I'm gonna go in directly with the stick on the brow bone. I'm just doing this very, very lightly. And then I will take my finger and tap that out. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to use this little tiny pencil brush from e.l.f. and really load up my brush. This is a, kind of a dry formula. You could use any color, like highlight color. You could use your highlighter from your face. You could use a, another shadow if you want. And I'm not bringing this out as a bright highlight. I'm just essentially highlighting around the tear duct. Going back into the taupe shadow, I'm just going to do just the tiniest bit on the outer third of my lower lash line. Uh, this is totally optional. And again, you know, I'm not gonna go heavy. I just want a little definition of the eye. So these are the eyes done. Very natural if you ask me and especially for me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and do some mascara and then we're gonna come back for that bold lip. I bet you can't wait to see what I picked. Alrighty, mascara is on. I also went ahead and added a little bit of liner. I felt like I needed that. I just used a brown liner in the tight line and a nude liner in the water line just so I look a little bit more awake. And now we're going to get into lips. You can do whatever kind of bold lip that you want, that you're comfortable with, or that you like. And for me today, I'm gonna go for a berry. I don't know what it is, but I love when I'm wearing navy blue to wear a bold berry lip. So first we're gonna line our lips. For me, this is just the NYX Slide On Glide On Super Long Name Lip Liner in the shade Alluring. Now for the lippy. Now this is actually very, very new to me. I got this from my girl Angela, but this is from Buxom and this is their Vava Plump Shiny Liquid Lipstick in the shade Wine Me. 
This is a very interesting product. Now, if you are going for a night out, I might not suggest this formula to you. However, I do really like it. It is more like an opaque lip gloss or lip plumper. And the thing I like about it is that once this sort of shiny texture wears away, whether you're drinking or what have you, uh, it does leave this nice, beautiful berry stain behind. Ta-da! I absolutely love this lippy. Thank you, Angela. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely was inspired by Zebrina, but this is kind of my own take on a natural face with a bold lip. For me, there's nothing more beautiful than a natural face of makeup with a bold, confident lip. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I absolutely Absolutely hope all of your makeup days are bold lip and natural face makeup days and I will see you in my next video soon.